Intel admits the 2025 timeline it set for opening its Central Ohio plants will not be met. We were first on the air with this news tonight on NBC4 at 7, and now we have new details for you. Intel is not giving a firm completion date at this time, but says it is not stopping or slowing down the project. Thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 11. I'm Colleen Marshall. Hello to you. I'm Carrie Charles. NBC4's Isabel Cleary has been digging through the company's agreement with the state. She also spoke with an Intel representative and shows us where the project stands now. Isabel. Colleen Carey, I spoke with an Intel representative who said the three to five year timeline for projects like these is still accurate. Intel and Ohio have a $600 million grant agreement, which says Intel has until the end of 2028 to complete construction before facing grant related penalties. However, the agreement states before that deadline, if Intel has to delay its schedule, it must give the state at least one year of notice. Intel says while it will not, in the company's words, meet the aggressive 2025 goal as anticipated, construction is still underway. For leaders in the community, this isn't a surprise. From the very beginning, Intel has promised the state and its partners that it would be on a three to five year construction phase. Uh, it's still on a three to five year construction phase. Ohio Chamber of Commerce President and CEO Steve Stivers says when Intel said three to five years, he doesn't think anyone meant they'd absolutely be done in three. You know, this is mostly a big nothing burger to me. It, you know, it's still, if it is 2026, it's still within that three to five year time frame that Intel told me and told others from the very beginning uh, before they broke ground in 2022. The Intel contact I spoke with told us nearly 900 construction workers on site plan to continue their work. She added they plan to have several thousand on site by the end of the year. We reached out to the governor's office for his reaction. A contact there tells us the Wall Street Journal reports of delays due to market concerns are inconsistent with what they have heard. The governor's office also says delays are not uncommon. The city of Johnstown sent a statement saying they have not heard anything to indicate there has been any significant delay in construction. Senator Sherrod Brown's office also sent a statement saying he will continue to work with Intel and local and federal officials to ensure that this project moves forward. I don't think there's any reason to be worried. You know, the federal government is releasing CHIPS funding right now. Everything is moving exactly as it's supposed to. 